Hello everyone, this is Junk Wax Investor. Hope everybody's having a great day. I have another week of great videos showcasing the top Junk Wax era sales from eBay last week. Today we'll be looking at the top 20 baseball cards. All right, let's get into the list. In the 20th position from 1989 Donruss, we have the Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $500. The record for this car is $1,400 and has a pretty high pop of $1,782. However, that's still less than half of the PSA 1089 Upper Deck one. Alright, in the 19th position from 1991 Upper Deck, we have the Hank Aaron Autograph Chase card, numbered 2500. This car is sold in raw condition for $599. We've seen a lot of the other Upper Deck Autograph Chase cards on this list, but I think this is the first time for the Hank Aaron one. In the 18th position from 1993 Bowman, we have a Derek Jeter rookie card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $650. The record for this card is $1,690 and it has a pop of 827. And the number 17 position from 1993 score select. We have another Derek Jeter rookie card, also graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $700, which is pretty close to the record of $850 and has a lower pop of only 479. And in the 16th spot from 1993 tops, we have yet another Derek Jeter rookie card this one also graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $825, quite far off the record of $2,200. But this example has a pop of 2,866. So definitely a lot higher than the other two. And moving on in the 15th position, we have our fourth Derek Jeter rookie card in a row. This one, the 1993 Topps Gold Parallel graded a Gem Mint SGC 10. This card sold for $970. It's kind of crazy that this was only $150 more than the PSA 10 tops version and the gold parallel would be a lot rarer. Pop of this card in the Gem Mint SGC slab is 22 and there's one higher graded pristine gold label. In the 14th spot from 1985 tops, we have Roger Clemens rookie card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $999. The record for this card is $1,650 and it has a pop of 354. In the number 13th position from 1993 classic best, we have a Derek Jeter pre-rookie card Autographed and numbered 781 out of 1200. This card was graded a PSA 8 with an 8 grade for the autograph and it sold for $1,000. This is a record for a PSA 8 with the previous eye being $950, which was the last sale from November of 2020. This card has a pop of 11 and there's 51 graded higher with 26 Gem Mint PSA 10s. In the number 12 position from 1987 Opeachy, we have Barry Bonds rookie card graded a Gem Mint BGS 9.5. This card sold for $1,026. It has subgrades of a 9.5 for centering, corners and edges, and a 9 for surface. This card has a pop of 109 and there's 5 higher graded pristine BGS 10s. In the number 11 position from 1991 Upper Deck, we have Michael Jordan's Baseball Rookie Card, number SP1. This card was graded a Gem Mint PSA 10 and it sold for $1,050. The record sale for this card was an outlier $7,600, however the second highest sale was around $3,000 as well earlier this year. This card has a pretty high pop of $1,463 as a PSA 10. In the number 10 spot from 1987 Leaf, we have the Greg Maddox rookie card, graded a PSA 10. This card is sold for $1,055, or about a third of the record high of $3,250 from earlier this year, and it has a pop of 483. 
In the number nine position from 1992 Bowman, we have the Mariano Rivera rookie card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $1,075. The record for this card is $2,100 and it has a pop $1,425. In the number 8 spot from 1993 Pinnacle, we'll throw in another Derek Jeter rookie card for good measure. This one also graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $1,200. The record for this card is an outlier sale of $10,000 with the second highest sale is around the $3,000 mark, which is a little more reasonable. This card has a pop of 651 In the number seven spot from 1991 score, we have the Mickey Mantle number seven chase card autographed out of 2,500. This card was graded a mint BGS nine with a 10 for the auto and it sold for $1,300. So of note, according to score, Mantle side 2,500 total cards in the seven card set. So it actually equals 356 copies of each of the cards. So even though the back of the card says out of 2,500, each specific card only has 356 autograph copies. So a little more rare than it seems if you're looking for a specific card. Moving forward, we actually have a tie for the fifth position. First up from 1989 Tops Traded, we have a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card graded a pristine BGS 10. This card sold for $1,325. Subgrades were 10 for centering corners and surface and a 9.5 for edges. This card in pristine slab has a pop of 47 and there are no higher graded black labels. Hello Junk Wax Investor community. I'm excited to announce a new affiliate partnership that we have with BCW Supplies. You'll save 10% off your next retail order of sports car supplies. Use the link in the description below and on checkout use the code JUNKWAX10. All right, in the second card in the fifth position from 1991 score, we have another one of those Mickey Mantle autograph cards. This one, number four, the going, going, gone one. Also graded a mint BGS nine with a 10 for the autograph. This example sold for $1,325. It has subgrades of 9.5 for centering, nine for edges and surface, and an 8.5 for corners. Pops in mint condition in 59, and there are 11 higher graded gem mint BGS 9.5s. The numbering of some of these in the BGS pop reports a little bit messed up. In the number four position from 1992 Upper Deck, we have the Ted Williams autographed chase card numbered out of 2,500. This copy is in great shape and graded a gem mint BGS 9.5 with a 10 for the autograph. This card is sold for $1,500 and has subgrades of 9.5s for corners, edges, and surface and a nine for centering. This card has a pop of 43 and there are none graded higher. In the number three spot from 1987 Leaf, we have another Barry Bonds rookie card graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $2,354. This is the sixth highest sale of this card with the record being $4,500 for March. And this card has a pretty low pop of only 92. And the number two spot from 1992 Classic Four Sport Gold, we have the Derek Jeter pre-rookie card with a limited print run of 9,500. This was a special gold parallel set and it comes in a nice wooden box. And you can still find them out there for a pretty good price. This card was graded a PSA 10 and it sold for $2,500. This is a record sale for a PSA 10 with the previous high being $1,450 from February. This card in a 10 has a pop of 129. And finishing things up for the number one position from 1989 Upper Deck, we have the iconic Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Card, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $3,000. Looks like we might be starting to enter way up a little bit now, but nowhere near the record of $6,600 from earlier this year. The pop of this card keeps climbing. We're at 3,933. That's up six from the previous week's list. All right, that's it for this week's list. The total of the top 20 Junk Wax Era baseball cards sold on eBay was $24,953. Let's take a look at the graph, which is getting a little bit full, but that's all right. Not a bad total, would have expected it to be a little bit higher since this is top 20 versus top 15 from before. 
but we'll see how it goes. Let me know down below what your favorite card was. And, and as mentioned previously, I'm away this week, but leave your comments. And if I don't get back to you right away, I'll be reading them and answering them at some point. As always, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.